Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. I will try to explain to you uh, guys uh, in a very easy way, hopefully it's gonna be easy, how to calculate the uh, percentage increment or decrement of a financial market. I said financial market or financial markets plural because it, it, this concept can, can be applied to uh, all, the ty all different types of markets. So it can be a stock market, but it can be a commodity market per per perhaps. So, uh, or it can be even a forex market. This is any time you would like to know a difference in uh, percentage, uh, difference increment or decrement, we can apply always this the same principle. Uh, for this case, we are gonna do just a quick uh, calc for uh, calc. Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. I will try to explain to you in a very easy way, a quick way, how to calculate the variation in the percentage of a given market. It can be uh, a stock market, perhaps a stock market. I just consider a stock market, but it can be applied to all other type of mark, financial markets, perhaps it can be a commodity, it can be the percentage increment or decrement of gold or perhaps copper. Okay, so let's get into it. I just prepared some example very easy, very easy to understand, so we can do both together. We can do the calculation for the increment and decrement. Let's start from the increment. First of all, to calculate the, the what we are looking at, to understand this value from where is coming from. So how to get it, how to calculate it, how to calculate this uh, percentage variation. It's very easy. First of all, we need to define a time frame. In this case, I just took this example, it's a daily time frame. Once we got a time frame, it can be even one hour time frame, it can be four hours time frame. We can read the news and we can say in the last three hours, uh, the, no, the Boeing market went down of 3%, it means that the time frame is in four hours. So once we got our time frame, we are able to get our the previous closure the previous closure price, which so means the four hour before and the four hour after, so it means the current price. So the difference between those two prices is exactly the uh, net change. So the difference, or the, in this case, is an increment. The increment of the increment of uh, of uh, value of, of the dollar, perhaps in this case, thirty eight point ninety four dollars. So the market in the last day has been has got an increment of thirty eight point ninety four, let's say dollars. Uh, so in this case, is an increment, and this in this case is for a day daily time frame. So one day. So it means assuming that today is weekend, this one was Thursday night closure. This one is Friday night closure. So th uh, today the market is closed. So this one is a current closure. That's why it's called current closure price. The difference between those two gives us plus 38.94, so it's, it's positive because it's always the current price divide the previous divide, divide the, 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 the previous price. So again, once we got those two value, how can we get those, uh, those percentage calculation, percentage increment? It's very easy, just apply this equation, this formula that it's always valid, is the current price divide the previous close price minus 1 times 100. So it's the current price, again, uh, divide the previous uh, close price, minus 1, we got, uh, this is our percentage, this is our percentage, this is 1.39%. Now, if you do 1.39, so it means if you do this value, 0.0139 times, times uh, the closure price, it gives you exactly 38.94, it gives exactly the increment, how much it has been how much the, the market, the value of this market uh, has increased since, uh, since yesterday, since the day before, because in this case it's daily chart. So I hope it has been clear and it's almost straight straightforward. The, uh, the, the other example is the decrease, assuming a different stock, again, assuming that this weekend and again daily time frame, uh, the difference between the current price and previous closure price is negative, so that's why it's a, a decrement, it's negative, it's a, uh, and then the percentage calculation is always the same way, and the difference is, uh, is negative, so we get minus 6.36%. Now, if you want to, to get, uh, if, if you're going to do the, if, to understand how much how uh, to do this calc to get this 8.676 dollars so to get this value 1.1898 uh, just to uh, and to validate our calculation we just need to multiply this previous close times times 1 minus this value so if you're gonna do 
1 minus 0.0636 times this value, we are going to get exactly this one. So this is, this is, this is the principle. So again, and then another, another example, if we see that uh, all our cax is correct, if you're going to do this uh, 6.36 times, I mean, and the, if this is of this percentage, so we need to apply this one of this, if you're going to do 0 0.0636 times this value, we are going to get exactly $8.76. I hope it has been clear, and if it's, if it's not, please just write some comment underneath this video. Thanks.